Welcome, intrepid explorers, to the world of Ursi, a beautiful, complex island full of wonders and mystery. In this chapter of the lore of Ursi, we're taking a deep dive into the marshlands of Dalu. Meaning Darkwater in the Arusi language, Dalu is a vast swamp biome stretching from the northern coasts of Ursi to the foot of the easternmost ranges of Atua. Home to incredible natural dangers and supernatural phenomena, Dalu is one of the most perilous regions on the island. This ceaseless peril has forged the Daluan people into stoic isolationists, determined to preserve their small foothold on the world. The Daluan people worship Vitari, or the Seven Serpents, a colossal basilisk formed from seven intertwining snakes that move as one. Ancient legend speaks of the virulence of Vitari's venom, suggesting that a single drop can provoke unimaginable destruction. As a gift for their veneration, Vitari endows its devotees with the serpent's touch, granting them the power to manipulate the vine-like tendrils of the swamp. The most dutiful servants of Vitari are the Nakaya, or Venom Doctors, a shamanistic sect that practices a Vitari or the Path of the Seven Serpents, an alchemical medicinal art that mixes otherwise deadly venoms into restorative elixirs and powders. The Nakaya's prolific skills are coveted by the esteemed leaders and wealthy benefactors across Ursi, who pay steep retainers for the healer's talents. Venom doctors like Warden Aladak, not seduced by endless riches, practice medicine within the Daluan capital of Vinaru, or Last Gasp. Centrally situated beyond the mudfalls of Lost Hope, Vinaru is a sanctuary safeguarded by Vutari's wards, ancient stone serpents that create a metaphysical barrier between the city and the dangers beyond. The capitals divide it into districts of healthy and diseased, quarantining the ill whilst the Nakaya administer treatment. The entire city of Vinaru is adrift, slowly sinking into Dorume, the Creeping Death, a divine personification of the murky waters of Dalu. A modest yet rising subfaction of doomsayers vilify the Seven Serpents, believing that the end times are nigh and that Dorume will engulf the world in sinking mud. While many denigrate the degenerates that propagate this blasphemy, more every day turn to the loudest voices that preach repentance to Dorume amidst dark times. Of the many diseases that have spawned in the sodden shades of Dalu, Few, if any, have been as contagious or as lethal as Rasumu, the glowing plague. Said to be the infectious influence of Umume, the Plague Mother, this plague spreads rapidly and without warning, transforming much of the region's flora and fauna into husks directed by the will of the plague mind. Thus far, no medical concoctions derived by the Venom Doctors have tipped the scales. With Dalu deep in the bowels of an epidemic, pacification of the plague beast became the only viable solution. By feeding the creatures meat, the Daluan people eliminated the creatures' need to hunt and play the spread of the plague. This temporary stopgap is not without its faults, however, for the creatures continue to grow in strength faster than Dalu may heal. Though Vutari's wards protect Vinaru from the many dangers of Dalu, not all inhabitants fare so fortunate. South of Vinaru, the sacred necropolis of Marura, or Whispering Souls, is engulfed by the dark fogs of Dakwi, binding its victims in a swirling vortex of transient darkness. This phenomenon has transformed the ambient whispers of the departed into a booming cacophony of screams. Under normal circumstances, the Urasara, or Shadow Dancers, would astral project into the Shadow Realm to listen and interpret the prophetic musings of the Lost Beyond. But with the Shadow Dancers inundated with noise, divination of the future remains unattainable, leaving the Daluan people bereft of direction. To establish a foothold for safe trade, the Daluans erected the outpost of Nakatu, or Venom's Reach, in the overfog above the hazards of the marshland. Despite the tremendous resources poured into the project, few outside of Peona were willing to risk exposure to the plague. This caution proved prophetic when roving Peonan merchants discovered their own forest glowing with the disease. With the abrupt end to trade with Peona, distribution of the provisions accumulated by Nakatu to the capital ceased. Nakatu leadership, motivated by fear and greed, amassed the remaining resources for themselves and ceased all contact with their counterparts below. With catastrophe impacting every corner of the marshlands, it's no surprise that the Daluan people turn a blind eye to the bizarre activities transpiring beneath the shadows of Atua. In the darkness of the mountains, a maskless cult led by the deranged prophet Tungar the Bone Eater perform ancient rituals to summon their deity, Yalgarok, the Great Devourer. This chapter only scratches the surface of the mysteries submerged beneath the gloomy swamps of Dalu. For more information on this region of Ursi, check out this showcase of the nefarious beast Longtongue. Until next time, thanks for watching.